Hey, it's Clay, hope you guys are doing well. Welcome to another video. Nora and I would like to welcome you to a comparison shootout video between two powered PA speakers. Um, on the right here, we have the Atomic CLR. On the left, we have the brand new, newly announced at NAMM 2016, Alto TS212. Um, you can feel free to check out information about the Alto 212, but uh, kind of the big thing here is that uh, this is the next generation of the, new, of the Alto speakers. The 100 series actually were pretty well acclaimed and by and large thought of as a very nice powered PA speaker and a very good option. Uh, so this is kind of the next generation. It's got higher power. It's up to 1100 watts. It also is lighter weight. It's, I believe, about 35 pounds, so something very manageable with a Neo magnet. Um, so I have been playing around with it. I just got this one today, so I wanted to offer some first impressions. Now, before we get into that, though, I want to do a brief sound clip. Now, in my ex providing a sound clip of uh, something like a reference monitor is just about impossible, but we're going to try it. Um, I'm going to play some clips. I've got a Fender patch. i got a Marshall patch. I'm going to use my Strat. Just going to do a little bit on each one. Not going to be a ton. I'm going to use this AKG 214 microphone. I'm going to set it back about 6 to 10 feet to try to give you a room feel. So let's go ahead and listen to that clip right now. Alright guys, so at this time I wanted to give a little bit of my subjective opinions. I'm not going to have any more sound clips. Um, so if you wanted to hear the objective data, that part of the video is over. This is going to be my subjective first impressions, talking about comparing the two units. Remember, I've had the Alto for about six hours. I've had the, uh, the, the CLR for over six months, probably over a year. Um, I've spent a lot of time, I've used this thing live tremendously. I've used it here in my home studio quite a bit and pretty familiar with it. The Alto, I'm just getting to know it now. Uh, so the first question on everybody's mind is going to be tone. How does it sound? And, um, you know, I'm not going to lie to you. The, the CLR, the CLR sounds incredible. It is, to me, it is, it delivers on all the hype that I've read on the forums and the reviews. Uh, it is, it is all that. It is just a great reference monitor. It's flat, it's even, it, it works in a variety of different situations. The dispersion is intense. So even if I'm sitting here behind it, you still hear pretty well. Um, it's just a great speaker. But it's also $1,000. And the Alto is $300. Extremely affordable. It's also about 35 pounds. So very, very lightweight. It's got four handles. Extremely easy to move. It's built very ruggedly. Um, just kind of my overview of the construction has been very, very good. Very impressed with that so far. And uh, overall, when I compare these two, um, I'm going to just sum it up like this. The, the, the CLR gives you that last 5-10%, but the Alto gives you 90-95%. to 95%. Um, If you want bang for your buck, go with the Alto. If you want the absolute tonal purity, go with the CLR. To talk more specifically, um, so in terms of differences, I'm going to talk about situations where I think the CLR just blows it out of the water. So when I run my Axfex into the re effects return of my Bugera V22, 
I think the CLR just blows it out of the water. When I run my Axe Effects into, uh, you know, I had this, these little old Dell computer speakers. I tried that once. It sounded really bad. Um, I, I had an Alto TX8 for a little bit. It was a teeny little 8-inch speaker. It was like 10 pounds. The, the Axe FX sounded very boxy and harsh. And, you know, all the, freak, the, all the frequencies were not very pleasant. Um, it just got real muddy. was not a good experience. When I, when I went back and forth between these two, I did not have that type of an experience where it was like, wow, that one is clearly um, significantly better. It was only after I went back and forth numerous times and I really like finally listened for the details was I actually able to pick anything out. So um, to talk a little more in depth, I think the biggest differences are going to be in the gentle, some gentle minor differences in how they handle the EQ. So on the, the CLR, I found it to be very even. On the Alto, there were times when I felt like it got a little bit big in the low end. It was almost like certain notes on the fretboard and, and actually I, I don't know if I'm included in the video clip but um, I took a recording before this last one because I wanted to listen to what the room mic would sound if it gave it any sort of reality as to what I was hearing. And there were times when the alto, I don't know if it was the way it was positioned, the way it was pointing at the mic, I kind of had them both up on a wedge position and the mic kind of at a human head. I don't know if one of them was like aimed right at it, but there would be times when the low end on the alto would get really big and, and a little bit out of control. Um, not tremendously, but just a little bit like, whoa, that's a little bit more low end, that's a little bit more muddy. Um, and then also with the contour, there's a contour switch on the alto. I had a little bit of trouble figuring out exactly where I wanted to set it. It felt like when I put it in and turned it on, it was slightly scooped. Uh, a lot of bass, a lot of treble, little scoop in the mids. Not When I say a lot, I don't really mean a lot. It was kind of just a subtle difference. Something that I had to really listen to to hear. Um, when I put it out, it just seemed slightly darker than the CLR. And again, these are we're talking about differences that I had to really listen a couple of different times to really tell. Not like something that was immediately, wow, that's apparent. Um, but overall, I was very impressed with the Alto. I think it's a really nice speaker. In terms of bang for your buck, it really hits that price for performance level on the curve really nicely, where you get a lot of performance um, for your money. Now, does it have the nuance and the detail of the CLR? No, but you're paying more than double to get that last 10, 15, 5%, whatever it is. I don't know how to quantify it with numbers, but these two are not in different worlds. These are not, um, this is not David and Goliath. This is, they're, 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 they're closer. Exactly how close I think is going to be up to you to determine. How much do those little details matter to you? How much do those, does that last 5 or 10% matter to you? To some guys, that's a really big deal. Um, in some places where I play, that's really not a big deal. You know, if you're playing at a, at a, at a bar or at a, I, 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 you know, a place that doesn't really have very good acoustics, I don't think there's going to be much of a distinction. Um, a couple of more objective things. One is the dispersion. With the Alto, I'm sorry, with the CLR, the dispersion is amazing. It is absolutely uncanny how well this thing sounds anywhere you sit or stand in relationship to it. The Alto was much more directional. I found that when I was sitting, I even sat back here for a second and played, and the Alto almost just disappeared. It got boxy and muddy whereas the CLR still sounded very, very good. Um, the, the Alto is a lot more lightweight. That is certainly something that I will take into consideration. You know, when I got to haul this thing back and forth, I'm going to really appreciate the lightweight and the multiple handles and how easy this thing is to get around. Um, overall, I think they're both great speakers. And really, I think the, 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 the choice needs to be this. Number one, do you have the money? And number two, does that last 5 to 10% mean something to you? And if the answer is, is yes, then go for this guy. And if not, go for the Alto. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Nora and I sign you guys off. We'll see you next time. Bye.